Well, hello, welcome back to Tail Three Cabins. So that was the second time I moved this chicken coop. And the first time was when I built it. I built it on some dollies from Harbor Freight and I was able to move it across my driveway on the concrete. But once I got to the grass, it was a different story. And I didn't have the tractor at the time, so I ended up using a series of PVC pipes and rolling it a little bit at a time, five feet at a time, moving the PVC pipes over and over again until I got it into place. Then I had to use uh, some two by fours and some large timbers to leverage it and get some blocks underneath it to keep it off the ground. So it was a bit of production. So the second time went a little bit easier, but not much easier. I ended up having the loader. That's the only attachment I had at the time when I had the tractor. So I had to make do with the loader itself, trying to figure a way to attach it to the coop here. And the first time I tried, I thought, well, this loader would probably come right here in the front and the nesting box would fit inside the loader bucket and I could probably lift it up from this angle and that didn't work. So the next thing I decided was I had to clear the whole area out. I ended up just taking the lip, the little lip of the bucket, putting it under the bottom edge of the coop, taking a large strap, attaching it back onto the hooks on my loader and lifting it up. And I barely got it off the ground and it only got up a few inches. And I really didn't want to go much higher than that because the stability of the tractor would have been in jeopardy. But I couldn't have got much higher than that anyways because of how heavy it was. So now I need to move this again. I think we're going to end up selling it. I'm thinking about moving it out to the street and put a sign on it before I decide to put it in Facebook Marketplace or something else and just see how that does for a little while. Well, this time I have forks and I'm thinking I'll do better with the forks. The only thing is, is once I get these forks underneath the coop, I don't want the tip of the forks to bust through the floor just in case over time maybe the wood under there has been compromised a little bit. I want to be very careful with that. My other concern is if I have the coop up against here that there's a lot more coop up here than down here. So I want to be very careful on that. I also ordered some of those Bora spacers for the wheels and it's been quite a few weeks now and I still haven't got them yet. And I've been kind of delaying doing some projects around here because I want to install them, do a video on installing those, and then test them out on several projects, but they haven't come in yet. I don't want to wait anymore on this project, so I want to try to get this coop moved, and I'm thinking it's going to go a little bit better than it went with the bucket, but I don't know for sure. And the reason I'm thinking that is because this coop should sit closer to the pivot point of these loader arms, and hopefully not so much of the coop is hanging off the edge like it was with the bucket, which takes away some of your lifting power because your, your weight is out front more. So if you look at the specs for your tractor, it'll show you that your tractor can lift so much. I think it's around 800 pounds and it's when your load is near the pivot point here. As your load goes out, it's less and less and less. And then as you want to raise your load up higher, it also becomes less and less. And there's quite a few videos out there, Tractor Time with Tim. He put a bunch of suitcase weights in his loader, showed you about what you can lift, and I think he got up to 1,100 pounds, and he was able to use the curl function to just barely get that 1,100 pounds off the ground. And that is all well and good, but it really doesn't show you the real use aspect of things. And I kind of like those videos better, when somebody's really using their tractor on a project, and you can kind of compare notes with what you're doing. So it's always nice to see something in the real world, not a bunch of suitcase weights and not a bunch of specs on a piece of paper. I know this coupe is four by six. It is pretty heavy. I could not tell you how heavy it is. I know that I cannot lift one end or the other end. So I gotta venture to say that it's probably over 600 pounds, but less than 800. So let's get started. Let's see how this does. I'm a little concerned about the terrain. I'm thinking if I get it under here, I'm just gonna try to go forward and try to get it onto the pavement or the driveway as soon as possible just to get it away from any tipping points. I'm trying not to nose the forks into the dirt, but it's having the opposite effect on the chicken coop. Mm -hmm. This is something that frequently happens where you're changing the height of the terrain. You think you're all lined up, but that front wheel is coming up a little mm -hmm. bit, which is raising up the tines. Just 
just taking a quick peek to make sure that the floor isn't buckling inside. So right off the bat I'm doing better than with the loader. I was able to lift it higher than just an inch or two off the ground. I really really just want to take this nice and slow if you get a nice little divot that one of the front tires falls into that could be disastrous and make this thing tip over all the weight would shift so far it's doing pretty good but I'm noticing that the curl function trying to bring that up in the front is not working as well as just lifting up the overall chicken coop Alright, so I decided I'm going to put it out front by the street and put a for sale sign on it. While I got it here, I'm just going to give it a little cleaning and then take it out front. While I was cleaning it, I did try the curl function again and I'll try to lift up the front end and it still wasn't bringing it up. I'm starting to wonder if there's an issue with my loader or if it's just the way this chicken coop is. I told Karen to get inside and that I would just try to take some of the weight off and she could just raise it. Now if you listen to this noise, is that a hydraulic whine or is that just the steering in the front? And if it is the steering, is there a way to lubricate that? I have no grease fittings up there. Now I need to get a bunch of cinder blocks to rest this on, but the tractor is kind of in use right now, so I had to get Junior as a backup.
but it didn't do too bad. I was pleased with the way the forks worked. I was a little stymied though why it would not curl, thinking that the curl function is more powerful than the lifting. So I have to ponder on that one. Anybody has any ideas out there, please leave a comment down below. Now you would think this is going to be the end of the story, but unfortunately it isn't. There's a little bit more to go. Okay, well I've had it out here for an hour when I got my first phone call, and then uh, it was another hour when I got the second one. And the second one, they had a trailer. They live about a mile down the road. So they're going to come here shortly in about 40, 45 minutes. And we're going to load it up, and uh, I don't need a for sale sign anymore. So hopefully it all goes well. I'm not sure what kind of trailer they have. When I asked him, he said it was 10 feet long, and then he said it was four feet wide, which doesn't sound right for a 10 foot long trailer. And I hope it's not four feet wide, because that's gonna create a problem to put this thing on there. So we'll find out in a second. Okay, I'm just going to put this back on the forks and get it positioned so if they pull this trailer in, I can just unload it. Hopefully it's got flat sides, or the flatter the better. And uh, I'm still interested to see exactly what they're bringing, because judging by some of the phone calls we had, I'm a little leery. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. I already got my drill out and took off their little wooden fender on this side because it was definitely going to be affecting trying to put the scoop on. It is flat, but it's not what I expected. So he wanted me to put this as far forward as possible. I said, no, I think you're going to have to put it over the axle. I don't think your car is going to handle that. So the bottom of the coupe is exactly 48 inches from front to back here. And his trailer is actually 47 inches. So it's going to butt up to the edge on the far end of his trailer. And then this other edge closer to us here is going to hang over a little. I also want to mention that if I were using the loader bucket like I did the second time I moved this coupe, I would not be able to lift it this high. So having these forks did make this load easier to lift. And I'm kind of curious how high I could have lifted it up. He's got an eye bolt right in the way of where the coop's going to set down here. So I got my wrench out and I'm taking the eye bolt out. Again, he asked me if I can move it forward a little bit. And I told him, take a look at his car. His wheel wells are about to scrape. So I'm not sure how he's going to get this off once they get it home. They live about a mile and a half, maybe two miles away from us. They're definitely going to have to go slow and easy. My neighbor came over to lend a hand and I told each one to take a side and I'm just going to try to slide the forks out from underneath and if they can keep the coop from moving with it. trying to take his strap over top and I said let's just go through the doors and that way you don't have to go over the roof. Now as far as I'm concerned my job is done but he only brought one little strap and the strap didn't even have the ratchet end of it it was just a hook with the strap on it and then he had a couple bungees and I definitely was not going to let him go down the road like that. So I had the strap that I was using. We tried that and then the neighbor brought his strap over. So we kind of jerry-rigged it so at least I felt comfortable that it was not going to fall off when we're going down the road.
All right, so that is going to do it for today. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you enjoy and subscribe to these videos. Hit that like button and keep an eye on us. Oh, by the way, at the very end of this video, something showed up in the mail. Ten foot trailer.